Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Hi Madge from Hot Springs Village, Arkansas. Good to see you. I just had some uh, technical difficulty. Hopefully it's not going to stay like that, but we'll see. Never know. Um, today we're doing kind of a fun project and I put out a, a Facebook post about it. Hey Glum and Charlotta. Joe Ellen, how are you? Um, there's nothing I like better than making something that I can use. I don't know if you guys are like that too, but I like the idea of the art side of it and the useful side. So, hey Dorothy, hey Laura, Allison, how are you doing today? Is it hot over there again? Hey, Kathleen and Sue from Australia, Erica, Simone, Linda. Oh, wow. We have Canada. We've got Australia, the U.S., the U.K. Good to see everybody. Yeah, so today we're just going to make an easy project. I mean, it's easy if you put together a couple of these, but every time I do, I find another little trick, and I hopefully have a couple things to show you today. In case anybody hasn't seen this die yet, this is what we're going to be using. And I put the cover on here so it wasn't so glary. Um, this is the Skinny Mini Book Box. And you can see down here, there are a couple different pieces, and we'll go over them in a minute. But um, when I put them together, I had this kind of fun idea. So I thought I would uh, share it with you. Yes, you've been packing. Me too. You have rain and it's in a drought. Well, that's good, Dorothy, that it's raining. What's it like up in... Hey, there's Scrappy Shack. Is everybody getting ready? Who's coming? How many people are coming? Because I don't have the list. I know that um, Leslie is coming and Lisa. I don't know if there's anybody else from the group here, but that would be really fun. So we're going to a retreat in Georgia. And um, then I'm going to go to Tennessee to teach at Scrappin' in the City. And um, I actually, I'll show you later. I have the projects that I'm going to be teaching. So, hi, Angie. 38 people. What? You're coming. Oh, good, Scrappy Shack. I'm glad you're coming. <laughs> Scotland is cold. Sorry, Karen. I was doing the wash. You you left me a message before, and uh, then I went out grocery shopping. So I'm trying to get everything done before I go. But it feels like I just got back, which I did. <laughs> These trips are killing me. My rear end is getting tired of sitting in that car. <laughs> but um, what else? One more day before you leave. Me too, Lisa. I'm going to be leaving on Thursday. So tomorrow I'm really really packing up. I'm doing preliminary things for class, but I want to make sure I have enough stuff and I want to have it ready to set out and, you know, ready to go. Hi, Dan Diane Mullins. Yes, I heard you have rain in England. That's good. Kind of takes the heat off the hu humidity. So uh, anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to make a little box that we can put our pens or pencils in. You guys know I don't I hardly ever write in pen I because everything's always changing, so I only write in pencil. And, you know, it was funny. The other day I brought up, my mom asked for a Post-it notepad. So I brought one up to her, and I gave her a pen, and she's like, um, no, I only write in pencil. I was like, that's where I got it from. <laughs> now I said I was yearning for road trips. I do. It's like I go back and forth. I love seeing people. I love being out of my basement. <laughs> That's understandable, isn't it? So um, I do, but then it's like, I also like sitting and watching Netflix at home with my husband. We are watching this such weird show now. It's on, um, I think it's on Apple TV. It's called Severance. So weird, so creepy, but good. So I need air trips, not road trips. <laughs> Scotland. I don't know. Who knows? All right. I wanted to show you how this one came out. And remember how at the end of the last live, we were talking about doing two loops as a closure. So that's what we're going to do today because this came out really cool. I'm not sure it's going to work because we're doing a box, but we're going to give it a try. Okay. So this is the thought 
Um, what you do is you have these two kind of loops, one in the front and one on the back. And you can see in the book how it, it's really easy to line up and just stick it in there. And then, you know, it stays closed because you close the front and the back together. And that was um, an idea by Laura Sabluski. And I'm glad I saw it. Yes, I want that too, Glum. Yeah. You've seen Severance. Yes, it is very creepy. We're at episode, I think we finished six last night. So there's like maybe two more or three more. I'm hoping we can finish before I leave because I have this thing. I don't want to watch ahead of my husband and same thing with him. So we have to watch it together. But anyway, um, I added a little charm to it. And that was about it. I just you know, everything else is the same. This is the little book we did the other day. I think I cut these a little long. And the other thing I thought was I could tuck this into the back of the book so you wouldn't even see this, but that's okay. Hey, Mitziana. Wishing you could have made it to the Scrappy Shack retreat just a little too far. I know it's, well, it's hard to get a good, good place for everybody to meet up. That's why we do it here. Yes, I know. I thought so too, Angie. All right. So let's, um, let me see if I have any, oh, one thing. Well, maybe a couple things. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be closing my Etsy shop because I'll be gone for a week. I try not to close it because, you know, I can usually catch up and, and ship out right away, but, um, I'm going to close it cause I'll be gone a week. And I don't want to have to worry about it. So if you need anything, just let me know like tonight if you can, then I can do it tomorrow. Uh, and then I'm going to close it tomorrow afternoon, probably. Okay, so I will reopen on August 26th. Okay, and hi, Sarah Clark. And who else do we have here? Oh, there's Miriam. Hi, Miriam. And Andrea, how are you? Laura? Yeah, so shop fast. <laughs> Eklum. So what else? Um, I showed you the password book. I have classes at Scrapping in the City. Do you want to get a quick look? They're really fun. All right, this one. This was so much fun. And you would learn how to get that effect. And that is really cool. So I'm going, oh, you're going to Italy. Well, yeah, we're not, <laughs> I'm going to Georgia. Not quite the same, but good. All right, so we're going to be making that in um, Tennessee. And also this, we're going to be doing a little ephemera holder. And where is my other one? This is really cool. We're going to be making this. And that will do on the retreat. This is the botanical ephemera box. And we'll also be doing them in Tennessee. So if anybody wants to learn, Come on down, okay? All right, so today we're, well, let's just start making it. I'm gonna use chipboard today. I decided for a pen holder, you know, I'm pre it's gonna get marks in it anyway, so I'm not gonna use any fancy paper or anything like that. It's kind of gonna be a useful thing. Hey, Joyce Miller. So uh, you get your money on the 20th. <laughs> oh, that's nice, Anita. Uh, I'm opening again on the 26th, so you can think about it and then let me know. I'm glad you're loving your new card, card carrier die. Three times, all right, great. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, Dorothy. I love hearing all that stuff, that you're using them and that people like them. It's just neat. All right, well, let's um, turn the camera down here. And, whoops, there's my hand. My giant hand. All right, let's get the show on the road here. All right, so today we're going to be making another. Well, this is not another because this is the die. This is what we made last time. We had this beautiful handmade paper, so, so pretty. And here again is another look at the closure. So you're just doing one. I don't like that I made it that big, but I had already 
cut it and I didn't want to chop it down because I thought that's going to rip the paper. So I would have done, you know, a little one up here and a little one down here. But we're going to try it again today in another way. Okay. And my pen matches. I mean, you can't get any better than that. I, the only thing is I wish I had something to cover my pen, pencil, like a cap because that's going to be messy. This was a pendant that I got in a thrift store, and I just loved how it's like a skeletonized leaf. It's so pretty, and how it matches. Oh, I love it. Anyway, that's my passport book, but I mean password book, but don't tell anybody. I didn't put a label on it because I didn't want to tell anybody. Uh, so this is the die that we're going to use. I'm going to use some easy cut adhesive because we're going to do a little bit of napkin decoupage today. I tried to get stuff done ahead of time a little bit just so we weren't, you know, doing the same thing over and over. You guys know how to do this. So I put my, this is some chipboard that I have and I actually am going to be putting this in the shop because it's a size that will work for the full size journal. So my mat board supplier kind of went out of business so i am able to get chipboard so i will be posting that in the shop i may just wait until i get back but anyway this is what i'm using for the box and it's nice and sturdy it's a little bit thinner than matte board but you know and it's a lower quality i mean this is not acid free where the most of the matte board is acid free but i don't even know if people care about that anymore you know it's like oh, this thing's not going to last forever I'm not handing it down to my grandkids or anything like that. So probably not unless Trinity wants it for, I don't know what. <laughs> anyway, I did want to show you a tip on this today. What we're going to do is we are going to take this off. And I thought this would be a good place to show. Okay. I am going to, because we get a lot of bulk on the corners and the, the joins I am going to peel some of this material off and you know, it's, it's not that hard. This, it's a little bit trickier than the mat board because mat board is, it's got a grain to it. Whereas the chipboard really doesn't, it's just kind of chopped up, um, you know, chopped up pieces of paper. So I'm just peeling it away so that when we, you know, stick this down. Well, let's do this one. You can see the difference. I don't do this all the time. I don't mind that bulk sometimes, but today I just thought, let's try this other way here. So see, let's see the difference. So when you go to put that down on your, on your, uh, you know, base, see how you're going to have this extra stuff here. So let's just kind of peel that away. And, you know, try to get it about the same depth, but it's not that big a deal, whatever you can get off. You're just reducing the, the level of this. Sometimes it comes off the other end. And the only thing I don't like with the chipboard is that sometimes it does leave kind of ragged pieces here. So, you know, just try and get rid of that or trim it away with your scissors. So that looks fine. So I'm, I have not cut all of mine. I cut one. I just wanted to show you that, but it is a lot thinner. And if I were by myself, I would in an OCD manner, go through and pick all that stuff off. So I'm just cutting two of these. I'm not going to cover these. I'm going to do a little napkin decoupage and I'm going to cut the label because it happens to fit. And the board that I got was nine by 12. So I had to kind of trim it out weirdly, not like how I would on a, you know, it's not like a Sizzix one that has the, you know, 12 inch or six inch depth already. Yikes. Graphics chipboard. That might be. I don't think this is graphics, but I looked at it and I love graphics products. And the owner, Haley, is very nice. I saw her at the uh, trade show at NAMTA. So that was great seeing everybody. So I'm going to do the same thing again. 
and then I'll, then we'll go ahead and do our covers. I have them ready to go. I just have to add my uh, my book pages. So I'm gonna, like I said, we're gonna do a little napkin decoupage today, just because I need to relax, and that's good therapy. Now, see that one came off pretty well. If you can get it in one clump, that's good. All right, this I need to give it a good break over my counter or the side of my table. It just works easier. Yeah. All right, so just keep putting your, your nail under it if you can to get a good chunk of it off. It's kind of fun doing this. And you don't have to do this, but every once in a while, it bugs me how much it sits up on the, you know, the tabs. <laughs> and then the next time, ah, that's okay. All right, let's get rid of this stuff. And there is a tutorial to assemble the box on my YouTube channel. So if anybody wants to see basic assembly, you know, no fancy stuff, um, there's one over there. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is, and this is just the quick napkin decoupage way, because I don't always have time to wait and let things dry while we're doing a live show, you know. Um, the one thing that you're going to want to think about before you put your paper, your book pages, whatever you're using on here, is I always take my die and line it up and just make sure that I'm going the right direction. So I want most of my text. This is the front of my book. Um, now, I know some of you know this trick, but when we go to put this book together, you're going to cut two of these, but these spines, one of them is going to have to rotate around to cover the other one. So you're going to cut one page going this direction and then turn it and cut one with the text going in that direction. And that's going to give you a, you know, <laughs> a cover that makes sense. So I think let's just do this. I'm not going to do anything really fancy. But I do have, and I might turn some going that way. And just tear that off. I do want to cover this whole thing because I don't want the um, adhesive getting on my die. There were some good pictures. Oh, I thought that the lungs, because I have asthma. <laughs> I think what I'll do is just use my ruler to chop that and get it out. It seems like I'm collecting rulers. <laughs> oh, I have a little piece down here. This stuff is so sticky. Alright, let's see where the edge is here. That wasn't the best lining up, but okay. oops, that was my cutter pillar, just gave up the ghost. And we don't have to go crazy with this because the, um, the die is going to cut this. We're just trying to cover the adhesive. So really I wouldn't even have to, but just so I can see where I'm placing it, I'm going to Okay, so one is done. And the reason I'm doing this is I could use my decoupage medium and I could paint it on, but then I'd have to wait for it to dry before I add the napkins. So I'm just going to put it on with the adhesive and then we'll cut it and then it'll be dry already. Magic. Magic of TV. No, you're not doing it wrong, Chris. Helen is higher elevation. And I with asthma. Yeah, I had it really bad when I was a kid. Oof. Thankfully, I got this medicine called Advair, and it's been just it. I mean, it like it made me better. A librarian, that's a good one. Oh, that's ripped. Oh, that's all right. We 
We've got the librarian. Well, oh, should have gone all the way to the top. Ay, ay, ay. Osmium, outdoors, ovation. Oh. It's kind of fun. I'm not really thinking about it. I'm just covering it because this is just going to be the base. And you could do anything on here. You could do if you had old sheet music. Oh, I was thinking of this for all of you in the UK with the rotary. We call it a traffic circle here. But as I recall, you had quite a few of them. Let's see. Maybe over a little bit. I mean, see how quick this goes together? And it's nice. It looks like a little kind of a patchwork of paper. You know, I like having the, you know, the pretty white and then the off-white. It's just fun. And even this up here adds a little interest. So here are our two pages that we're going to cut. And... It's a roundabout. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Now that I think about it, what do we call it? <laughs> okay, so let's cut these. Let me put my um, light on. I don't know if that helps. All right, so this is the front. So I have to think, what do I want on the front? Do I want the rotary or the lungs? Maybe like librarian i'm going to put this on the front so now i have text so you can see you know i'm going to line it up here and you will see how this works in a minute and i do write on my dies if that's going to help me to not make a mistake i'm not proud <laughs> and i'm going to use my smaller plate i'm going to use my big plate for the bottom it just makes it easier to maneuver and we're going to cut it. Okay. Same in the UK. Lost the show on Facebook. What? Is that right? Guys, have, have I lost you on Facebook? It says there's still 73 people watching, so I don't know. All right, so here's the first cover. And now, let me just move this. We are going to rotate this around. You're still here. Oh, good. Leslie, that's weird. Oh, well, lucky you're on YouTube also. <laughs> okay, so now you can see I turned this around. I'm looking here, back. I can read back. My text is lining up, so I'm going to flip it over. And we're going to cut another one. All right. Okay. You got it back, but stay in here storming. Yeah, it shouldn't affect it. Who knows? I don't know how any of it works. I'm just happy we can get together. That's all. All right. So we have a front and a back. And we have our sides. So let's put this together. First, we're going to add our um, napkin decoupage. And I picked out two and I cut them up. And you can watch whatever videos I have that, um, you know, they show how to do this. But basically what we're going to do is uh, take some of this decoupage. Oh, thankfully it opened because this really is sticky. And I do want to do a coat. Oh, you know what? I wanted to get, remember that little gadget I got at the... Um, Dollar Tree? I can't find it. The little... Oh, that makes me so mad. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Wait a minute. 
I want to try this. <laughs> I do have this one, which I got at AC Moore, which I don't know what they call it, but it, it's handy to spread stuff. But I thought this might work just as well. The only question I have is, is this little groove here going to matter? I doubt it will. All right, let's get a piece of label paper to put down. All right, so this is the back. Let's do the front first. Well, let's just try spreading it on here. Yeah, look at that. Pretty nice. I know that this is coming up a little, so I'm going to a little bit under here. Ooh, you know what? You know what's nice? It doesn't sink into the brushes. So that's kind of cool. That's the spine, so. Oh, look at that. Huh. All right, so now we have a coat down on the cover. And now I'm just going to go in and add some of my pretty napkin. And, you know, you could have done this first, and it might have been better because, you know, it would have cut everything at one time, but let's see how this works, because this is the test. Oh, well, you have to be careful. Yeah, nice. You guys see okay? Make sure you get the edges. And this will dry. Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, hmm. I might just put this on top here. I might just be a rebel. Nothing says you can't layer. Yeah, this is working great. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Are we done? Maybe just a little something up here. And if you go off the, you know, the page here. Don't worry because after it you can just trim it or you can take your finger and just well, we can just do it. Pull it off. The only thing is it gets your fingers gluey. But. And then you can go go around after and just ink it if you want, you know, to distress the edges. All right. We are going to have to put this together though, so hopefully it dries pretty quickly. But we can get our our base assembled and then we'll Hopefully it's done. All right, so this is the back. So we didn't do anything back here. So let's just make sure that our pages have a good base of sealer. It's basically, it's a glue and a sealer. You can also use Mod Podge matte. I like the matte. I don't love the gloss, but do whatever you like. And, you know, that little tip about tearing away the sides, you know, like we did on the base of it, you can do that on here, too, on the cover, you know, where you overlap. You don't have to have that. Let's see if there's a real pretty one. Oh, this is a big one. Yeah, that's nice. Oops. Got a little crazy there. If it wrinkles, don't worry about it. Not a big deal. I just love doing this. It's so relaxing to me. Because it comes from, you know, there's like a piece of paper. And then there's this pretty design. And I didn't have to do anything except play with glue and stick it on. And it just blends in. Now, if this was a lighter design, you know, you'd be able to see the print. And you really can with that white. 
you know, you can see the text underneath. I do like that. And the other thing is you can add kind of brush strokes if you vary this, you know, however you want to do it. Maybe, let's see. See, I know that this is the back and that's going to get covered up. So oh, I can still stick out a little. And I might decide to actually do that to rip away the binding, but for now, we'll see. There's nothing that says you can't have the, the you have to have the binding on the inside. I just do that. You do whatever you want. Oh, this would have been a good one. Oh, well. That's pretty too. We can always add stuff if we want. All right, any questions? Yeah, so it's for applying face mask goo. Is that what it is? I don't even know. I just saw it there. Um, I just don't like washing my brush out all the time and losing my glue. So see, now I can just scrape this into my thing. And if I need more, I just, you know, and I probably will because I probably forgot to do something, but that way I don't waste any of this and I can just, you know, let that sit in there and wipe it off. So I have to say, I do like that little gadget. Um, and this other one works well too. I have done that. It's just flatter, you know, same idea. All right. So let's let these dry for a minute. I'm going to put them over to the side and what we can do is just kind of assemble this. Now, one thing about working with chipboard, it is a little different than working with mat board in that I tend to use glue more than the tape. And I'm not sure why. I think it might be that this, because we didn't, you know, when I put it on mat board, it's usually mat board on mat board. It's got that smooth surface and it sticks nicely. When we're working like this, with a kind of a rough surface, it's a little easier to use the glue. So let me, oh, and also um, your friend, baby Mike says, hello. Hi. <laughs> it's so nice having him here. It's a little friend. <laughs> so what we're going to do is just go and this thing is giving me trouble. I got my little one out and I don't see it. What do I do with that thing? The little one was going fine. Ugh, so annoying. I think it's reaching the end of it finally. It's probably got some gunk in there that's, you know, it's just irritating. Please work. All right. And I also had my little, let me see, that's not, not too wet. This does work. It's nice when you're assembling something to just let it sit for a minute. All right, just make sure that you're doing, you know, short one, long one. And just bring them up to the same height. And then I usually use my, my little clips. You've got your singing baby mic. <laughs> Oh, baby shark. I know, it's so cute. See why I want to go back to see my friend Margaret at that store? <laughs> they always, they know how to have a good time. And that's also the place that has those lemon cookies. It was amazing. They're, they were so good. Um, ham and goodies. Ugh. They're iced lemon cookies. Thing is killing me. I need to open my new one. I have one, but I don't have the tip for it. But I probably could take this off and put put on the new one. It's just so annoying. All right. Just when you think you have it flowing. Wow. All right. Where's my other ones? Yes. Well, I had to clean before this because there was so much junk on this table. 
Sorry, guys. You took your troll to school when you were in third grade. He got sent home in an envelope. Oh, no. That's like your worst nightmare. <laughs> A note to the parents. We had to get our homework signed. And one time, well, not one time, but one time that I remember, you know, I got in so much trouble because I didn't get my homework signed. It's like I did my homework. There we go. Ugh. You know what? I'm just going to go get that new bottle because this is ridiculous. And then you guys can have the joy of watching a new bottle get opened. Hang on. I know where it is. <laughs> Ta-da! Whoa. All right. It's a little bigger. And that's why I kind of, you know, well, I like the size of that one. All right. Let's see. There we go. The unveiling of the new bottle. I do like the needle tip, so I probably will wash that other one out and put it on this one so for now i will close this up farewell you serve me well well we had to wait anyway because we have drying stuff who doesn't love a new bottle of glue is right wait a minute this thing is in the way oh That's a lot. Wow. Maybe I should have shaken that up. All right. <sighs> okay. You know what? I am going to shake this up. Sometimes teachers have crazy rules. You're right. Write the date in Sharpie so you can know how long you got it. That's a good idea. It'll be 10 years. <laughs> Take the top off and run the pen through the wrong end. I did that yesterday, Joyce. It's just, you know what happened? I think that I, I took some of the stuff out to fill those little bottles, and the stuff that stayed on the bottom is just very old and just congested. All right. Oh, I forgot to take the stuff off. Okay. All right. Well, we had the time. Oh no, this stuff seems really wet. All right, well, let's just let that set for a minute. Oh, yeah. Ah, falling apart here. Oh, I put it on the wrong side, no wonder. Hang on. I get impatient. I think that one didn't have enough. Well, I'm happy to have a new bottle of glue. I want to try this stuff. It's called Barely Art or Barely Arts. But I don't think my store, my local store, carries it. I guess I could get it online. But. Okay, so we have our base finally done. So let me put the top on here. Now this makes me wonder, you know, we could use hot glue even. We could. I don't have it plugged in, but it's possible. All right, let's let that sit and just, yeah, it's a nice rectangle. So we put this over here. And then all we have to do is, and this is almost dry. Here is our score line over here. I'm gonna lay it on the edge of my table. Bend that over. And 
actually I should have chopped off because I forgot when I'm making the box, I only need uh, two, two of these pieces. So that's all right, I'll just chop it off now. Good thing I remembered. And I mean, nothing wrong if you wanted to make it, um, well, it would just be too tall because here, look. All right, that's the back. This is the front. So see, if we put our book in here, it would be, we wouldn't have, you know, it wouldn't lock it in anything. So, but if you wanted, if say maybe you wanted to have a book on the front of that, then, you know, that would fit. But we'll just go, where's Leslie? I have a brand new blade in my life. <laughs> You'll love it. So I'm just going to trace my line here. I'm sorry to lose my pretty pattern, but that's all right. Maybe I could use that strip. No, I'm throwing it in the garbage. Too much. Too much junk around here. I've been doing packaging, and I have four designs that I need to do. I did two last night, and they're coming out pretty good. But two more to go. I know what I want to do. It's just making it's the final touches to make them look really pretty at the end that I'm never sure about and it takes me I, I wish I could sit and look at them for a little while but I can't I have to get them in the mail before I go I'll be heading to the UK where they take photos and then do their little process all right here we go yeah close your eyes <laughs> I did it, Leslie. <laughs> All is well. All right, so now we're just going to make our little box. I'm going to raise this up a little because I want this to close all the way over. And sometimes if you do it right on the line, it, I don't know, kind of sits up there and doesn't feel right. All right. So we've got our box. Hey, dear. All right, so we can go around. I think this is dry enough. We can sand these edges here. And if you wanted, you know, you could even sand off a little more and then just go over with your distressing. That'd be pretty, too. So it's kind of go through. This looks... Okay, you can feel it. All right, I think that's pretty. I don't love that. I wish I hadn't gone over that there, but I can add something on top if I want. All right, so I'm going to add my adhesive here. That's really pretty. Of course, I'm covering it. Oh, well. And this is going to have to sit for a minute. There's my little gadget. I'm going to wipe this off though. I don't want it. it already looks kind of wet. Okay. All right, and see, this is nice to have a little time to play with that while it's drying instead of the, you know, the red line tape there, it works, but it is nice to have a little working time. Okay, so that's good. We'll just clip this in a little. And then we're going to set our box in. And, you know, I don't even mind it with this craft. What I was going to do, I'll show you what my plan was, but I may not even do it now because none of these really match my napkins. I was going to just take my washi tape and run it around the edge 
of my box shape here. And this is just the right height. But really, I don't have any that totally match that. And I don't mind craft, so I'm just going to leave that. I'm just going to set that in there and glue it down. And now this is where we should think about our closure. But what I decided to do is I got a piece of, I can find it. Wait, let me just put my cap on. I don't want that drying up. Um, shoot. Well, I had a piece of that, this stuff. Ugh. Um, this is the Sizzix Texture Roll. I like this for closures because, for one thing, it doesn't degrade. Oh, here it is right here. Okay, and this is pretty. This is the rose gold. Um, oh, okay, Amazon has that too. Tons of them come up. I might get a set of them. I mean, they're just good. Barely Arts or Amazon. Okay. Oh, that's why stores don't have it. Okay, so what I was going to do is just cut this. And we may need a little more than we did when we made our other one. Because I did not find anything now. I can't find it to compare it. But um, that, you know, the book was only like that thick. This box is going to be thicker. Let's just get it together first. All right. So I decided the other day, I don't like it right against the wall there. I'm going to put it more to the edge. So if I wanted to put my closure, I could do it in between here, and then you wouldn't see it on the back. But it's going to be craft, and I could put a sticker on it, or I could do something to it. So it's on the back. I don't really care. On the front, I'm going to put it on the front side in here. So um, that doesn't match exactly. And that looks kind of fancy. I don't know. What do you think? Just got the journal folio. So do the basic make. Yay! Which way around do you need to have on the outside? I know. That's right. That is the problem. That's why I write on my die front and back uh, so I can remember. All right, so let's just cut a piece and put it in there. I'm just cutting enough, and then I'm going to trim that in half. Seriously, I do not know where that little thing went that I just had. All right, this is three, so it's like a little more than one and a half. Okay, so we're going to have this on the back. It's not even that big. Oh, here it is. It's right here. Okay, that's the back. See what I mean? Um, this is close. This is going to be a bigger distance, and the, the loops are going to have to stretch down halfway so that the pen goes. But I thought, if I'm making a pencil case, it just makes sense that I should have a pencil that, you know, keeps it all together. So that was my thought. All right, so I'm just going to take my glue. Mini map makers. On the outside, blue crease down on the gun. Thank you, Jen. I'm putting this on pretty, pretty heavy because I want it to stay. And I'm going to just spread that around. And I'm going to use my heavy weights to let that sit for a minute. And it's just, this is the hardest part, squishing it when it's not, yeah, that looks pretty good. What do you think? It's hard to see because I'm, I'm on top here, but this is what I use. My the weight, this is, these are so heavy. But these, these get them nice and burnished down. But see how you hardly have any clearance in here? It's like a piece of paper. 
So that's nice. I like that. All right. So let's figure out our little, see, I can't even move it. It's right on the edge of the box. That's okay. All right. So let's get a pencil. Uh, let me use this. And I just want to kind of mark how much I need in here. And then I'm going to fold this. And I'm going to add glue in here. And then I'm going to do my little thing so I know the clip to know how tight I need to make it. And then the trick is going to be just, oh, I, I don't have my cap on. Whoa, hang on. I think the glue from the decoupage is also sticking to the table. And make sure you have like a wet washcloth here to keep your hands clean. That's too much. You know what? It's shiny, so it's not sinking in. It's just sitting there. So you can also use some of the tissues that you used for the that's the bottom of the napkins. <laughs> this looks cute. I love pencils. I'm a, you're a cartographer? What a cool thing to be. I love maps. Wow. What a fun thing. One is a daily activity. Yeah, I hope teachers would love this. The trick is the closure. That's what we're kind of working on. The box, we know how to do that. All right, let's do another one. And we could just, you know, wrap it around. Would be a good way. No. How thick we need it. We don't need stuff oozing out of it, which we might have. I think I went too far up with the glue, so I'm going to wipe some of that off. We can always go, I've done that because I had another one that I did this way, well, just the one loop, and I just went back when it started getting, you know, kind of came apart. After you take your pencil in and out a bunch of times, it just starts to peel away, but you can just add your glue right inside. And let's just make sure we have it wide enough. All right, hopefully we have enough room here, I think we do, to add that to one to the front and one to the back, and so they kind of meet in the middle, is so my thought. And if I like it so that it's a little tight, but I also normally I have an eraser on the end like this. So that helps it to stay in, you know, it, well, it won't go down through, but you do want these tight enough because otherwise these are going to fall out and you want them to just sit right in there. Okay, so it depends on what you like for a pencil or writing utensil. Yeah, all right, those look pretty good. All right, oh. oh, come on. I might have to do tape on here. Those, that didn't do anything. That's all right, we have alternate adhesives. I bet because it's so slick. If we did it the other way, the craft would work, but that's all right. Luckily, we have our red line tape in two sizes, available in my Etsy store. So let's just do one and see how it goes. So my hands are all gluey. Should be good. As usual, I can't get that apart. 
Sorry, we made the box in like 10 minutes and now the pen loop is going to take forever. All right, that's still flexible enough. That'll work. Sorry, guys, but I hadn't done this before. It seemed like it should work. You never know. You guys know that from watching me. That should have worked. Whatever went wrong. But you learn a lot in the meantime. And I really do like that Dollar Tree little brushy thing. Makeup applicator, whatever it is. Hot glue or beacon. Yeah, probably would. I could have the gold side out, but it seems kind of flashy for this, you know, because the other, the inside looks kind of vintagey and just rough, you know. You know, that could have come out a little, but that's all right. That should hold it still. With two of them, the tension from the top and the bottom should be good. All right, now here is the test. This should be dry. And this looks pretty nice. It's kind of sticking to my table. Uh oh, that's no, just okay. So, what my thought was is put this here and then kind of turn it down, you know, so that the pencil will be in the middle like that. So, it's going to have to stick out and turn down a little bit, but once the pencil's in it, it won't be too bad. Because this is going to be coming up from here. So let's just put them on this pencil, because that's probably what I'll use because it's longer. Oh, Madge VT. Yes, it is, Angie. The finishing touches just kill you. But if it works, I'm going to like this. All right, so I guess I could do it either way. I could have... I usually have it pointing down. All right. And then I have to think about where on the box do I want to do it in the middle? Yeah, I think that's good. So maybe I'll do the top one here. And the bottom one will go down here. I don't know. This poor pen is going to have a hard time trying to figure out where, where it's supposed to go. I want that to be in the middle. Okay. All right. Well, I have a feeling that it's going to take a little while to dry. I'm glad we have enough. I'm thinking this should work with the glue. Don't you think? And I can take this out. That's just going to have to stick. I don't know about this, guys. I'm messy. I think I'm not going to be able to do this for a minute because it's got to dry. But that was where I wanted it. It is pretty much in the middle. And then this one. That one has to it's a little trickier than I thought to line this up. I'm sure you're probably saying easier ways. Well, we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to test this while we're still on, but I'll picture, put a picture up in the fan club. If you guys haven't joined the fan club, go ahead over Eileen Hall Fan Club and
and I will put a picture up tonight and let you know. And I will make it, I will fiddle with it until it works. And if there's any tips on how I did it that was different than this, which there probably will be. See, the one thing would be you could make it a little looser. That maybe should go down a little. Well, I think I'm going to have to let it dry, guys. Yeah, the red tape is good. Thank you. What did you attach the top part to the inside of the box part? Fold it over the edge. What? Oh, what if you attach the top part to the inside of the box? I did. Yeah, the top here is on the inside. Yeah. Fold it over the edge. Yes, that is there. See, I can't put a clip on here. Let's just see if I do it very carefully. It might just work. Oh, hallelujah. It sticks out a little, but that's all right. All right, well, you know, it was a theory, and I think that's fine. Wow. Oh, I know what I can do. I have these big ones, also from Dollar Tree. So that'll hold that together. Yay! The frame. I'm not, I'm not following Jen. I'm like just <laughs> trying to make this work. I think it does. I don't want to make a mark on there though. The frame. The inside, the frame. Oh. Um, well, I have one on the inside, one on the outside. I'm not sure what you mean about the frame. But anyway, I think that's going to work. That will keep the box together. I mean, it shouldn't go anywhere. I guess I could tighten this up a little if I wanted to push this back and push that one under to make it lay flatter. But I'm kind of good with this. <laughs> I am breathing a sigh of relief, believe me. All right, now back to the stress. <laughs> the stress of packing. Good Lord. All right, well, now one thing. I'm not going to be here on Thursday, guys, because I'm going to be driving. Unless I do a live, like if I stop somewhere cool, or maybe I'll find an interesting store. You never know. So stay tuned. But otherwise, um, you know, I'll be on the road um, this week, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I get home late Thursday. Oh, I like it. That's cool. And let's just put some pencils in here so you can see that they fit. It depends on the size, but, you know, pencils, pens. Um, this fun little thing. I don't know. It's like an eraser with a little broom. I love that. Uh, this, if I put the cap on. Look at that. I could do all of my lettering little pencils. And it's my pencil box for school. So there's a little gap here because we did, you know, push down. And we didn't have our bulk from the seams. That's okay. A pen can't get out of there. I'm not worried about it. I don't have little pieces of paper in there, so that is not a problem. All right? Yay! Okay, I'm glad that worked, guys. And, you know, I probably could train this, but I'm pretty happy with it how it is. And I can use my pencil, you know, my big one that doesn't fit in there, to kind of hold the whole thing together. Yay. All right. Okay, guys. Well, thanks to Laura. It was her idea the other day um, on this little other book that we did, which I stole the thing from, but, you know, like this. And I will say it's easier to do it on a journal than on a book box, but it does work. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> thanks, Dorothy. <laughs> oh, I was sweating that one. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to see some of you guys in a little bit. We'll try and do a Facebook Live from where we are at the retreat. Okay. Won't that be fun? 
All right. See you guys. Thanks for coming. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye.